Hello and welcome to Reginald ESQ. I'm Underhook and this is my next in the series looking at the armor changes in patch 9.12 World of Tanks. So today we're looking at the Russian T5 premium heavy tank, the KV220, which has actually been renamed to the KV220-2. <sighs> anyway, it's had a substantial buff to its hull armor, because like, it really needed a buff to its hull armor, right? Uh, anyway, as well as that, it's also had uh, its horsepower of the engine increased substantially. However, it's also had its terrain resistance nerfed substantially. Now, I did play a game in it to test it out to see the difference. And the speed and handling of the tank, to me, feels the same as it was before. So it feels like there's been no change to its performance on handling. I tried, I didn't try soft terrain, but I was on medium terrain and on hard terrain and performed to me I couldn't tell any difference uh, however it's just that the armor <laughs> has been buffed let's get into so on the right hand side of your screen is a pre-recording and of tank inspector on the left hand side of your screen here is the current live version 9.12 of tank inspector so let's get into it and have a bit of a look we'll start the recording going and we'll colorize it move it to the front on position here and uh, so straight away we're looking at the lower portion of the armor there and that's coming up as 100 millimeters of thick Russian goodness and it is still the same as it was before now you will notice the tanks may look out of proportion with each other that's simply due to my pre-recording process which I stuffed up so the tanks are pretty much the same dimensions so moving right along let the pre-recorded move up to the next section of armor here so the upper sort of sloping plate there was uh, 80 millimeters and is still 80 millimeters, so no change there whatsoever. However, you will notice that there is now no longer a driver's viewport or a machine gun port on the front of the tank. Those areas uh, were uh, 80 millimeters. They've been removed, those weaknesses. And what they've also done, whoops, if I can actually stop the recording in the right spot, the frontal plate here, this frontal upper plate, which was 100 millimeters, is now 120 millimeters. So. 20 millimeters thicker and the weak, weak spots of the machine gun port and drives viewport have been removed so that is uh, a buff for sure uh, on a tank that really didn't need a buff to its hull but this thing has hull armor which is very difficult to penetrate anyway it's really the turret that is the uh, weakness of this tank and uh, they strengthened the hull don't know what that was about and and really I mean it's a strong tank you don't I don't see any reason to strengthen the armor at all on this tank anyway the turret armor um, you're seeing here on the pre-recording is showing you uh, 75 it's still 75 I'll let that play actually because the turret armor here really hasn't changed you've got this area here which is 90 millimeters the uh, mantle is a consistent 75 millimeters that's all exactly the same however it had a tiny turret ring before which now it has a collar so it has a collar of 40 millimeters of spaced armor overlaying the 120 millimeters of armor underneath. So if we see there, there's a, you can see that, there's a collar around the turret ring, a collar of spaced armor, 40 millimeters thick, overlaying 120 millimeters underneath. So pretty much, uh, this is a tier five tank, so these are maximum of tier six tanks because it's a uh, premium. Uh, nobody's gonna be penetrating that. So if you thought the turret ring was a weakness before, it's certainly not now. Going on to the side of the tank, you can see the uh, HD remodeling has changed uh, here, exposing uh, some more of the side of the hull. It doesn't have the extra 20 millimeters of track protection over it anymore. Never really needed it anyway because it is 100 millimeters thick. So especially this tank angled at 45 degrees is in its tier virtually impenetrable. So uh, for the hull, that is, the turret is penetrable. So yeah, it, it is a bit of a nerf, I guess you could say, but it makes no difference. The tears it faces, they can't pin it anyway, so it makes no difference. The side of the turret is still 75 degrees as it was, uh, 75 millimeters as it was before. The upper hull is 80 millimeters as it was before, and the lower hull is 100 millimeters as it was before. So no changes to the rear of the tank, only the track changes on the side. The top deck is uh, 40 millimeters as it always was. And the only other change here when I stop the recording when it gets to it is you can see there, there on the top deck there is a green, uh, there it is, stopped on it right now, driver's hatch. That was a 30 mil uh, that's now been removed and it's a consistent 40 mils all the way at the top. So a very minor buff you could say there. But anyway, overall it's all buffy goodness. There's no nerfs at all to this tank. 
uh, in performance or and it's definitely had a buff in armor so yeah if you own one um, you'll be even more beastly than before and if you don't own one uh, run away thank you for watching this if you liked it please give it a thumbs up if you'd like to see more reviews please subscribe to Reginald ESQ have fun